Hi, Azam here from webblockku.com. As you can see here, I just got myself a Samsung Galaxy S, also known as the GTI 9000. I got it for 1499 from Maxis, which I need to subscribe to their data plan. So I took a 24 months data plan of their 500 megabyte per month, which cost me 48 ringgit a month, additional to my postpaid plan. So we're going to do an unboxing later to see what's the content inside and I will show you some basic features of the Samsung Galaxy S itself so stay tuned yeah it's the box Plasticky. It's a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack. Earplug, hands free. Charger. Uh, Korea USB connection. USB to USB and this is the phone ok now so we turn it on here you go Galaxy S TI 9000 Samsung this is a camera screen. Let's take a look right now. Speaker. So I did put on the screen protector. So as you can you might be able to see there's some bubbles there. Okay, now we're going to take the basic features for the Samsung Galaxy S. But before that, I'm going to talk about the overall design of the Samsung Galaxy S, which for me is a very light phone. Uh, the build quality is uh, quite good. Uh, some people say it's a bit flimsy, but for me it's quite solid, although it's made of plastic, most of it. I like the metal rim around the phone. It looks a bit more like iPhone 3GS, I think. Okay, now at the bottom here, you can see there's a mic. On the left is the volume rocker, up and down. On the right side is the power and also a lock button on the top is the 3.5 millimeter earphone jack with the micro USB slot have a sliding cover it's quite cool and on behind is the 5 megapixel autofocus camera without any flash and the uh, loudspeaker on 
on the front that's the front facing VGA camera for video call the 4 inch super AMOLED AMOLED capacitive touch display it supports multi touch and below the screen there's uh, three button one physical button and two touch sensitive button the physical button is the home key and the touch button is the menu and the back key the phone is equipped with a 1 gigahertz um, Cortex A8 processor with 512 megabyte of RAM, 2 gigabyte of ROM and 16 gigabyte of internal memory and the memory can be expanded with additional micro SD card up to 32 gigabyte that makes a total of 48 gigabytes all together it also has a bluetooth 3.0 as for the OS it comes with android 2.1 also known as Eclair with touch with 3.0 overlaid the OS is uh, upgradable to android 2.2 aka for you and it would be available around the mid of November here you can have a maximum of seven panels which you can add applications shortcuts folders bookmarks contacts info as well as widgets for now I only have six panels so for me to add another panel just touch the menu button or to edit here you can add or remove any panel that you like so for example I want to add another panel so this panel I want to move to be the second panel just move it like that and save it I want to remove just tap on the minus button and we remove the panel so just save it so for the panels there's a shortcuts of the dot button on top there's a shortcut you can see as dots on top just tap on the dots to go to the panel that you like go to the home just press the home button supports multitasking just hold the home key Okay, bring up the task manager and you can see the six reason or active applications to open up the search application just hold down the menu key and we bring up the search application okay, on top you can see the notification bar which you can slide down to see um, that's a shortcut for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the GPS and vibration. I think it's uh, quite neat to have a Wi-Fi shortcut here because it's a lot uh, faster to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so any no notification, for example, your SMS, your email, incoming emails will be shown here. text input Samsung Galaxy S have a swipe keyboard so I will show you what is this swipe key is all about using the right angle application from Samsung okay, just swipe how are you That is how swipe keyboard works. Okay, now let's check out the gallery. Ok, 
we can do it in portrait or landscape mode example here So see it looks very weak. So we saw it again. Let's review the first HD video that I took with Samsung Galaxy S. Supports a uh, multi touch. Okay. And so, double tap to zoom in, zoom out. Let's check out the camera. camera have a lot of features you can see here you can go to the video mode it's the resolution it's up to 1280 times 720p so I'm using the 720 times 480 the standard resolutions The only things uh, about the camera, the Samsung Galaxy S, it doesn't have uh, doesn't have flash, so things looks quite dark sometimes. With uh, especially the video, I'm not so sure why the video looks a bit darker compared to the still photos, still pictures. Okay, here you can see the application here, which uh, is all the application within your Samsung Galaxy S. So here is a few of uh, pre-installed application that comes with Samsung Galaxy S when you purchase it. Um, a few of it is the Alico ebook, the all shares. Layar is one of the coolest app that they have. Samsung apps, so they have their own app store. Think free. It's quite, it's very convenient when it comes to editing, viewing, Microsoft Office, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also PDF files. So you have write and go which you can update your uh, social media social network sorry so I think that's about it for now I will uh, post uh, new videos on tips and tricks of uh, using the Samsung Galaxy S as well as uh, a few of the applications pre-installed within the Samsung Galaxy S itself.